Salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. Ladies, let me tell you something right now. I'm going to address y'all real quick, okay? You don't ever in your life have to sacrifice your integrity to garner attention from another man or someone that you like. If you have to sacrifice your integrity to garner attention from a man, then you're lost. And I don't even care if you're playing around and doing it. I'm not going to talk anymore. Let's get right into this damn video and I'll come right back to y'all. It wasn't until I started acting like a bop that the niggas that I wanted wanted me back. When I was sitting at home with one body, literally my body count on one, waiting for a text back, being loyal, like I'll make food for the man, like I'm waiting for you to come home, just text me back, like literally. I was the nigga worst enemy. He don't, he don't like me, he don't want to talk to me, da, 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 all this. When I was outside, popping out in music videos, on the scene every night, with all the baddies twerking, showing my body acting crazy, getting drunk. Now the nigga want to blow my phone up. Oh my gosh, like, why don't you ever hit me and back up? Like, all this and that. And then they post on Instagram that they want a homebody who stay at home. A girl with less than a thousand followers on Instagram, all this and that. Like, no, you don't. Mind you, I said acting like a bot. Don't actually crash out about these niggas. Like, don't. Let's stop the damn video right there. Now, y'all heard what she said. She said, don't run up your body count. But let's take a look. See, let's, let's, let's rewind back a little bit, okay? She said when she started going outside, getting drunk, before when she was just sitting at home and her body count was only one. You're telling this story, but in all actuality, you're letting us know what you previously did. And once you start doing it, this certain person that was ignoring you, that's when they wanted to pop out and talk to you. And then now you're telling the ladies, don't run up your body count for these guys. But you're pretty much telling them to do that. And this is the energy that you should have put out previously before you put out this message right here. The message should have been, ladies, look, I know there's a lot of women out there that are out here twerking. They want to be on the scene all the time. They want to run up their body count because that attracts certain guys when guys know that they've been ran through, which I don't understand what guy wants to be with somebody that has a high body count. That guy would want to probably smash. But he will, he's not going to want to be with them. I don't understand why some women put out the wrong message. And it takes men to actually correct y'all. Because this is a message that you shouldn't be putting out in general. You don't have to talk about how once you started getting drunk. And how once you started becoming uh, coming on a scene more and twerking how the men started popping out. And they want you more. Those are the type of men you shouldn't want. You should still act as if you're a conservative woman strictly a conservative lady period you don't have to change yourself or sacrifice your integrity for nobody no one yes some men let's keep it a buck they do like ratchet broads out here they do like that but i will tell you right now they only like those ratchet broads for one thing and that's it and that's why those ratchet broads are still in the club all every single week. That's why they still are on camera twerking every week because no man has locked them down. Men are going to get what they want out of those ratchet women and they're going to keep it pushing. That's pretty much it. And maybe there's some women like that too. They, they just want to be ratchet and get ran through. There's women like that. They're fine with that. But later on down the road, you're going to have those women that want to settle home. Uh, excuse me. They're going to want to settle down. They're going to want to end up having kids, being with that one person. And then that one person that they actually do like, he's not going to want to be with them because he, he has heard too many stories about those ladies. I know women like that right now in my city, 40 and 50 year old women. They thought shit was sweet back when they were having all these guys run through them. And now all of a sudden, these same chicks are ran through. Now they want to get married. They're lonely. They're looking for men. They're on Instagram posting statuses about how I'm made for a boss. No, you're not. You ratchet chicks that have been ran through, you're not made for a boss. You're made for a pimp. MABW going to keep it a whole buck with you. I'm going to keep it a whole buck with you. 
You women, some of you, not all of you, you sit up here like I've stated before. You get ran through all your life. Then you come on the internet crying, talking about you deserve a good man. And then there are actually women out there that believe you deserve a good man in your life because all of a sudden you want to change. It's no different than black China. It's no different than her. I respect the change. Salute to black China for changing and getting herself right since she does have children now. But prior to, no, not even prior while she already had children, look how much she put herself out there. Now, once every single art artist in the industry has ran through her, she's been in all type of tabloids. She's been smutted out. Now she wants to settle down. Now she doesn't want that image no more. Why do you say that, MABW? I say that because now she's hitting 40. She's going on 40 years old. Once women get up in that age bracket, they want to settle down. They don't want to be ratchet no more. Now they want to turn a new leaf. But it's not going to work. It's not going to work. And these women think men are supposed to feel sorry for them. Why? Women will, women will feel sorry for other women. Knowing that these women were treating men in a certain manner throughout their whole life. Some of these women, they know that those other women that were acting like they were the baddest chick in their city, how they've had opportunities to be with good men, but they've turned those good men down to be with the so-called Hakeems or the Pookies, as some of y'all call them out there. You've seen what these women have done to the good guys out here, how they've played them. And yet you have some of these women that actually believe that they deserve good men. But I'm here to tell you that in my eyes, you don't. You don't. You deserve the same guys that you let run through you back then. Why don't you see where those guys are at in life? Why don't you see where those guys are at? Now, all of a sudden, your uh, busted yam has been beat up to all hell. And you talking about you want babies. You want to settle down. I'm not going to give him none until he marries me. What? What? So you're going to tell me after you've been smutted out, been ran through a, uh, from a bunch of guys, you meet me and you're going to sit up here and tell me that you're not giving me any unless I put a ring on it. That's where delusion kicks in. That's where delusion kicks in. And some of these women that have been smutted out, they will rush you to get married to them. They will actually rush you to get married to them or give them children. So videos like this right here, I understand a little bit, but it's like I get it, but I don't get it. Like you're talking about how now that I've been out twerking, getting drunk, being on a scene a lot, now a certain guy or certain guys in general want me. But then at the same, uh, in the same sense, you're telling women don't run up your body count. So what were you just telling women in the beginning? Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.